Hi, welcome to Kindred Spirit Readings. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising. Let's begin Pisces. Pisces, there's something extremely different that I like about you this week, that I like about your reading. In fact, when we talk about the people that you're dealing with, there are many different personalities involved. There are going to be a whole heap of people, all walks of life that you will come across. And you're going to notice that not everybody's going to get along, but Sometimes people are brought into our lives to help us make a decision or perhaps to allow us to understand why we do the things we do and, and we now don't want to go down a certain path with somebody because maybe you've changed and they haven't. This is all about understanding relationships. Your specifically this week is going to have a great impact on the way you do life in general from now on until I want to say the next eight years. It's a bit of a stretch, but that's how far ahead we are going with this. And this will allow for you to keep what you keep, your options open all the way along. The way you're changing now, the, the things that are changing within you, the way you think, the way you talk, the way you make decisions, the way you bring people into your life. You're doing everything differently now. So I was talking about... I am seeing a person coming, uh, there is somebody in your life, there is a new person coming in and I want to talk about the current person in your life, somebody that you're close to that you have a relationship with. Capricorn is relevant, Aquarius is relevant and this person does not want to change at all. This person in fact doesn't like transformation whatsoever. This person does not want to be a part of your path. Now, this is not to say that they don't want anything to do with you and that they don't support you. This is where I was explaining earlier as to how sometimes one changes, the other doesn't, based on the experiences you've had in your life along the way. Now, because you've changed and your partner hasn't, you're not really seeing eye to eye in a lot of different subjects, a lot of different pages. It's not to say that it's going to tear you apart or anything dramatic is going to happen. It just means that there will be a lot of readjustments a lot of readjusting to do, you know, to be had between the two of you within your relationship. They are still doing things the old fashioned way and they like it. They like doing it that way. You know, um, they are still doing things the way they know or the way they feel that it has worked for them in the past. They use that because to them it works. It will work for them now in the present and in the future. That is how they see it. So you've really got to, you've really got a lot of decisions to make regarding how you want to approach this. You're not really taking anybody's BS anymore, which is good to see. It can be good, but then there will be the potential to be stepping on people's toes in the process. Because as I said, not everybody understands everyone else all the time. Change is good though. And the change that is that you have come across that you are experiencing and there's more to come is unbelievably working out in your favor the whole way through. Change is very good and because you are changing into something magnificent and you, in your eyes you feel good about this change in, in, in the way that you do things. You want to keep going with this because it's unstoppable. It's like an unstoppable force. It feels too good. I don't want it to ever end and, and what you're saying what you're saying is it will be, you know, the way that you're, that it's making you feel, it's working for you. So there's no need, there's no reason to stop. And you shouldn't. It will be good to talk things through with your partner, with this, this person in your life. A conversation needs to be had and everything will work itself out. It will. But you've really got to be there for each other and really support each other and you will get through this together. Believe it or not, it is possible. You've got a really strong union with this person. There's a lot of history there. And what better way to go in with this than full strength and all the heart that you've got than to, you know, to do this together. There is a Leo coming in. I mentioned earlier there is somebody coming into your life. They Leo is relevant. There's a really strong energy about this person. The letter T is relevant. The letter B is relevant. And this person is coming in and wants to have a conversation with you about trust. This week is all about the birth of something new, which also brings me to remind you that with all the hard work and effort you've put into your work when it comes to your career, you're about to venture off and take off 
you know, take your work to new heights. This is absolutely hard work which has been manifested by yourself and you alone. You've done it all on your own, as I said, and now you are going to impress everybody with all that you deserve. This is this is just coming in tenfold. This is crazy, crazy good. You may not be planning for a baby at all. No way, no how. However, there is the chance of getting pregnant real quick. It happens. It's it's not planned, and there you go. It's one of those. Oh, it's it's a huge surprise if you're not planning on having a baby. Then, you know... Um, there is that in the mix, so it's entirely up to you what you choose to do with that. Thank you, Pisces.